I'm a preacher of sorts, a jester more accurately, but I am ordained. I married a couple together, receipts. But <laughs> somebody told me I should look into you because our messages are similar. I just go about it different. I was not intending to take up this much of your time. Uh, I appreciate it being heard. I connected with nature accidentally. A girl named Josephine gave me a duck. I became Huntsville's duck man. That was not on purpose. I'm from Baltimore City. I did not want a duck farm. I was walking on a lot of eggshells. Literal duck eggshells. <laughs> the AZ Duck Farms was a mess. It's like a three-year performance art piece. After that, a baby blue jay from Old Town Coffee. Five points, okay? I found one and, like, did hospice for a baby blue jay that fell hard out of the nest. Robins, because of A.M. Booth's lumberyard. I have... There are a lot of robins who saw my face out of the nest and now just, like, flitter around me. I have... A sticker on the back of my phone that's shiny to charm crows. I'm Dr. Doolittle of Huntsville. It's ridiculous. The looter's hardware cat and my dog. Oh man, you're, you're, yeah, hitting it out of the park when it comes to me. I've got my digital footprint in Huntsville is hilarious and they never catch up till like two years later. <laughs> For real. It's just no joke. Um, right. I'm the man in the trenches. I'm the guy that's you know, getting to know these souls, right? Um, a headstone for Freddie Owens, who is like a former herald, let's, you know, whatever. He was a guy that detached and fought and, right, you know what I mean. His gravestone is like a chainsawed in half pallet that I put at the old farmer's market. I go visit it. I think other people have now. Hmm. The calling. I was placed here. That's fact. Yeah, it's been a ride. It's been a journey. Thank you for talking with me. Like, for real, for real. Connecting. I appreciate that. More than you know. You've misunderstood your relationship with your phone. You're scaring you looking at your phone, right? I'm making content for the internet to enjoy. My sober life revolves around a lot of hot chocolate and mad dashes out of Target with it stashed under my armpit. I'm a nice fellow, but it's hard to quit tiny marshmallows once you've started. I know you have Prozac, don't act as though that last remark was so off topic. If your hands are in your pockets or you're barefoot locked in a walk-in closet, then I'm very proud to call y'all my target market. The ghost of old razor blades, so there could be a case to make that I could use an 8 by 8 square foot, space to face barefoot, and tied down to how I take my rainy days to dress up as the maiden act surprise of all we break today. It's time my medicine will taste good. And these fine things cried out in a day's code stand to be repeated even after knees are even with your hands and feet. I mean for us to grab a piece and eat it. In the Middle East, I bet the thing we invented is illegal, which probably ought to speak for its redeeming qualities. If you forget the steps, just follow me. Final backflip eliminates the need for swallowing. Put up a crock pot of meat. Spend the day in bed, get up at ten when we gotta eat. Split lips and the limp are the cost of being gleefully accosted and your teeth mean a lot to me. If I don't make my fix, I'm a cranky bitch. Takes space and time and not much left to mine will fit. If you take a duck from my pond, I may not respond. There are days I can't see fucking shit because of it.